Hello everyone, good morning, CJ here. And due to popular demand, this is going to be another Huawei video. I know that every one of you guys, like myself, would really want to have Google Play Store installed on your Huawei MatePad T8, but uh, we can't install um, Google Play Store as of the moment. So I, I have it working on the Huawei MatePad Pro, but for some reason it's not working properly on the T8. I don't know if it's a version thing or, or whatever. Anyways, what I would want to do right now is to provide you an alternative on how you can use or how you can install the application that you need on your Huawei device. So before I proceed, please give the video a thumbs up if it helped you or if you liked the video. Also, don't forget to put your comments down below for any suggestions or comments that you have. I would love to hear from you. And since you're already in my channel, Please do subscribe and hit the notification button so in case we have new uploads you get notified. So let's go on with the video. So this is my Huawei MatePad Pro. As you can see, I have Google Play Store installed on this one. So like what I've said, I have video instructions on how you can do that. And for those having issues in installing Google Play Store, the model of my MatePad Pro is MRXAL09. Right? So um, updates is also working on the MatePad Pro. Um, I have the G GMS suite working along with the other applications that I did on my installation. Now let's go to the MatePad D8. On MatePad D8, I don't have Google Play Store installed. And like what I've said on the intro, what we will do is to provide you um, an alternative in getting the applications that you need installed on your MatePad D8. Um, for now, I have um, Gmail, I have Google Classroom, I have Netflix working, and the other applications that I use in a day-to-day -day basis. So the first uh, option on installing or getting the application that you need is True Phone Clone. So if you have an old Huawei uh, cell phone or a Huawei mobile device, you, you can actually clone it and get the application that you need and have it, in inst have it installed on your Huawei MatePad D8. Next option is through Share It. So Share It is another application where you can um, transfer the application that you have from another Android device to your Huawei MatePad D8 and it's being transferred through the Wi-Fi connection. So I find uh, Share It also easy to um, use and uh, you can even transfer photos and music through this application. Last but not the least is getting the application from another application which is actually um, suggested by Huawei which is AppGo and APK Pure. AppGo is intended for Android users who doesn't have Google Play Store installed on their Android device. So what AppGo does is that it helps the user to find the applications and provide download links or recommend similar apps. So basically, it helps the user find the best place to get the application. For example, um, it tells you if the application is available on the app gallery or other third-party application markets like APK Pure. So for example, here YouTube. So on YouTube, it doesn't have an APK available. So what it does it is that it directs you to a browser. Um, what you can do here is that you can actually bookmark YouTube and have it on your home screen. Another example is WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is a communication app. So here, it is available on APK Pure. So what AppGo, will, uh, AppGo does is that it will direct you to APK um, Pure. And then you can search on the application that you would want to install. So let's say WhatsApp. Um, here, um, you see here that you can actually install it on your device. All you just need to do is to click on install, wait for a few 
minutes or seconds before the application completes its in installation. And once the download is complete, the next instructions is easy to follow. So one thing I need to mention is that Huawei is also scanning the application that we are installing, making sure that we get our device protected. As you can see here, WhatsApp is already installed on my Huawei MatePad D8. It's actually the same on the, any other Android device uh, and I'll say on the iOS as well. So the process is just the same. All you just need to do is to follow it and you're good to go. So personally, as of the moment, I'm really using APK Go and APK Pure in getting the applications for the matepad d8 i haven't had any issues with it for applications like google classroom um google website i've opted to have it uh, bookmark instead of installing it but i actually have teams installed on this device which is also working Let's do another application install. So let's do Call of Duty Mobile since this game is actually famous nowadays. So I'll have that installed on this Huawei MatePad T8 and this is through APK Pure. So as you can see here, I already have um, Google applications ready for installation. But uh, for testing purposes, we'll do Call of Duty. Okay, so we just need to wait for the download since I think my internet is kind of slow today so while waiting for the installation you can actually list down the application that you would want to use on your huawei device and i suggest that before installing it through apk pure or finding it to through apk go might as well uh, look for it on the app gallery first and then you'll have APK Go and APK Pure as your next option. So it's already complete, then I still have three more apps to install, but I'll do that later on. Um, let's try to open Call of Duty. So here, um, click on OK. And then, of course, you need to allow Call of Duty to access uh, your microphone and your files. And it seems to be working. This is actually my first time installing um, Call of Duty through APK Pure. And yes, it is working. On my um, Huawei MatePad Pro, I downloaded Call of Duty Mobile through the Google Play Store. So yes, the application is actually working. So what I'll do next is to ask my son to test this game out. And then um, we'll provide you feedback on the next videos that I'll be making. So hopefully this video helped you out. And whenever I got an update in installing Google Play Store on the Huawei MatePad T8, I'll immediately create a video or an instructions on how you can do it and upload it on my channel so again give a give this video a huge thumbs up if you like the video or if it helped you or if the information i i gave um is useful on your end and 
keep the comments go uh keep the comments coming so your comments is actually one of the inspiration that i have in doing the videos in a day-to-day -day basis and again don't forget to subscribe on my channel since you are already here thank you guys for watching have a great day bye